Hello, Pisces. <laughs> Flipping cars everywhere. This is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason you're not able to access it, um, just shoot me an email, okay? Let's see what's been going on. Four of Wands. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys have gotten back together with someone or you're looking to get back together with someone. But, you know, more so than that, I feel like you, you have a happy home life right now. I think everything is good. You know, there's there's no quarks. There's no um, uncertainty. It's like, you know, everything is kind of going smoothly is what I'm feeling for you guys. That's the way it's been. Okay, Aries energy there. Let's see what's been going on for them. Okay, got a lot of cards. Want to flip out there? Let's see what we've got. Hmm. We have the Two of Pentacles here with the Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting that there's there's been a lot of instability going on with the other individual. Um, not knowing how to move forward, not knowing what to do, not knowing whether to wait or, you know, keep the hope alive that you guys will be together or whether, um, to move on and just try to be single, trying to get their confidence up. Um, I'm getting that they, they are kind of all over the place. They're kind of all over the place here. Hmm. Car for them. Six of Wands. We did see the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles um, jump out there for them. So, you know, with the Six of Wands being here, what I'm getting is that for a while this person was trying to figure out if they wanted to continue to invest in a relationship, to invest their time and energy here, or whether or not, um, you know, to move on and do something else is like they were juggling with the two of pentacles. They were unsure about what to do. Okay. Aries got the same kind of energy, um, where the other individual was like, not really sure. Like they wanted to invest more time. They wanted to wait around. They were hopeful at one point. Um, but still not being sure about what it is that they wanted to do juggling. Okay. So with the six of wands, I'm feeling like this person's probably dating. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you from this individual. Oh, the five of cups is what just flew out my hand. All right. So the five of cups, I'm feeling like somebody feels like there is a missed opportunity here. Okay. Um, that there's just no way that you guys are getting back together. There's no reconnecting. Um, it's just done. The love is gone here. Somebody feels that way. Okay. Whether it's you or them, somebody feels like, you know, it's just a wrap. Feeling regretful, you know, surrounding some things, but still feeling like, you know, all is lost, basically, okay? Hmm. What's keeping them from Pisces? I'm feeling like this person is struggling to stay away, honestly. They're struggling to stay away. And what I'm getting here is that they're fighting their feelings for you. This person feels like this is a missed opportunity. Like they waited too long or they've done too much. There's too much water under the bridge. It's something like that. Um, they're restraining themselves from coming towards you. 
And I'm getting because they feel like, you know, it all is lost. Like they cannot win with you. Maybe they feel like they've done too much. Burn too many bridges, you know. Hmm. What's currently going on for Pisces? The Knight of Pentacles. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys probably have met someone. And it's moving kind of slow. But, you know, that's good. That way it gives you a chance to kind of like get your bearings and kind of see if this is really what you want, if it's really working out. You know, um, the Knight of Pentacles is so like the King of Pentacles. There's just a little more movement, you know. Yeah. Taurus energy there, maybe Aries. Um, but I'm definitely getting that somebody is is coming in or has come in for you guys um, and you're kind of taking it slow. Maybe that's why the four of wands is there. Um, stability here. You see stability here. You see happiness potential with this individual for some of you. OK, if this is not somebody coming in for you guys, this is you actually kind of like mapping your steps out. OK, um, not trying to move too fast, not trying to just like get he fall head over heels for someone using your logic, you know, using your intellect to decide, you know, where where is good to invest your time and energy, you know. Hmm. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Ten of Cups. Mm. This person is feeling happy right now. They're feeling happy right now. They may be in a relationship, but I don't feel like that. I'm feeling like this person is dating. So that is like... That is like what's making them happy right now. Because they're, again, they're fighting coming towards you because the only reason why they're not coming towards you is because they feel like they can't. Okay. But right now they're feeling, um, they're feeling fulfilled, you know, but they also may be thinking about, you know, the good times with you guys too, even though the six of cups is not here. They may be still focused on how happy you know, you guys were, um, how they were emotionally fulfilled in a connection with you because we have the five to the 10 of cups here. You know, they may not be down in the dumps anymore, but they still think about, you know, how good they had it with you guys is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see what's influencing Pisces. Eight of swords. Feeling trapped, feeling restricted in your own thoughts here. Not really, not really seeing a way out. Thinking about things over and over and over again. Hmm. What's influencing them? The world. Cycles ending, new beginnings. This person is feeling victorious surrounding something, like they've wrapped up something here. We have Leo here. Um, we have Pisces here. I'm feeling strongly this person's thinking about you guys. And, you know, the fact that, you know, the relationship ended and it, once upon a time they were happy with you guys. But what are you thinking about? What's bothering you guys? Maybe you guys wanted this person to come back and they didn't. Maybe before you guys had like this, what you consider was a happy relationship, a stable home. Um, but 
you got you guys did not reconnect as you wanted to and them too like I'm getting that but it's like you're you're worrying about something here hmm what's coming in for Pisces the Emperor standing in your power um, I'm getting somebody's coming back here this person is wanting to start over strong Leo individual here for you guys they've been keeping themselves from you because they felt like they they burn too many bridges. Too much has happened between the two of you. But yet and still, they're, they're learning something here because they are wrapping up a cycle. And this is the end. This is learning a lesson. Um, but with this ending comes a new beginning. The fool. This is the end of the tarot. So what I'm getting here is that this person is coming back. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is looking back at. This is you looking back at this individual. I feel Leo individual, Aries maybe. They're a little stubborn and full of themselves, though. I'm feeling that, whoever this is. But I strongly get this person's coming back. They want another go with you. Hmm. What's coming in for them? Tower. <laughs> Something's breaking up for them. They may currently be involved with someone here in the Six of Wands, dating someone, but I'm feeling like something's coming to an end here because the Six of Wands is falling under the Four of Wands, hence the Ten of Wands. That's an ending. That's the, like too much on your shoulders, wanting to put it down, wanting to start over. Then you come down here with the Ten of Cups. The ending of a relationship. Right next to the tower. What's currently going on for them. And then what's coming in. There's a breakup coming in for this person. Whatever they have going on currently. I'm feeling like they are ending that. And they're coming in for you. Scorpio energy here as well. Could be a Scorpio um, that you guys, some of you guys are dealing with. But they definitely, I feel like they're ending something with someone else and coming your way. Coming slowly though. Very slowly because you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. The Emperor, this Emperor is standing, but they are still not hasty with their movement. The Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, well, we know how slow they are. But I definitely get that they are making their way back to you guys. What's the advice for Pisces? Six of Pentacles, keep doing what you're doing. Only give people what they give you. No more, no less. Okay? Keep doing what you're doing. And don't worry. Don't worry because I'm, I'm, I'm getting that you will get exactly what you deserve. Do not worry. The Six of Pentacles is falling right next to the Eight of Swords. You're going to get what you deserve. Six of Pentacles is like justice. It's the minor for justice. You will get what you deserve. So don't worry. For right now, just let it be. Okay? Taurus energy there. It's advice for them. Ooh, I'm getting long here with 14 minutes. The Five of Swords. I'm feeling like this is for them to compromise, to, to actually fight for um, what they want, to fight for this new beginning. 
There's three people in this card too. Somebody has to be let go. Everybody cannot win in a situation. Everybody can't. But, you know, there's a way to do things to where you just don't leave people devastated is the thing. And there's no devastation in this five of swords here. Okay. Because I'm getting that there is a breakup that's, that's getting ready to happen with this individual and someone else. I'm getting that. Aquarius energy there. What is the outcome for Pisces? Let me hurry up and wrap this up. The outcome for Pisces. Eight of Cups. Leaving behind things that, that hurt you, that bother you, that you feel like are not serving your higher good. Leaving behind those people and situations that, you know, don't give you what you give them. Eight of Cups is walking away from the Six of Pentacles. If, if you're not giving me what I give you, then you know what? I'm out. I see that for you guys. Walking away. So if this person's coming back with some tomfoolery, no worries. Because you'll be strong enough to just walk away. Okay? No worries. What's coming in for them? Was the outcome rather? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm definitely getting that this person is wanting to commit. I'm definitely getting this. They're wanting to start over. They're wanting to start over. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate stability. And I see you guys, I see you strongly um, coming back together. I see them coming back your way. I'll say that because I don't know if they're going to be bringing exactly what it is that that you need or you feel like you deserve. You may or may not walk away depending on what they come with. So, yeah, I see strong Leo Virgo. They may be a cusper. Um Scorpio energy is here. Taurus is here. Aquarius is here. Aries. Yep. That's what I see. So I'll be talking with you guys soon. Bye.